Hey guys and gals, Joel here with SparkFun. With Halloween right around the corner and a new Ouija movie hitting theaters this week, I thought it would be a great opportunity to revisit my Arduigi project. The Arduigi is a robotic Ouija board connected to a homemade XY table and is controlled via an Arduino microcontroller. For the XY table, I started with two of the Actobotix camera slider kits. I used an 18 inch channel and a 12 inch channel to keep the form factor as small as possible. Luckily I was able to use the same wooden platform I had made for the previous version to hold everything in place. The end of the Y axis is not supported by the X axis on one side. Instead it has a ball caster on the underside to allow the Y arm to glide freely while putting as little strain on the X arm as possible. This allowed me to only use two motors and two pulleys. The DC motors that come with the camera slider kit were swapped out for stepper motors held on with a NEMA 17 stepper motor mount. The X-axis uses a 68 ounce inch motor and the Y uses the small classic stepper motor from SparkFun. For the Ouija planchette, I used the same magnets that were used in version 1 and attached it to the Y-axis carriage. To drive the motors, I upgraded from the Easy Driver to the Big Easy Driver, which is capable of delivering more current per phase but is just as simple to use. To provide enough power for the motors, I'm using a 24 volt switching power supply similar to what you'd find powering a 3D printer. For the firmware, the first step was to figure out each axis direction and orientation. Second, I needed to create a homing function that would move the carriage to a 0-0 position so I could begin mapping characters. I used my keyboard to jog the planchette in small increments across the Ouija board while each location was printed. From there, it was just a matter of recording each letter's coordinates, putting them in a lookup table, and having the Arduino move the planchette to that location.